Hi, welcome to my channel. If you don't know me already, I'm Nikki Conroy. Um, my friend has asked for this video, um, so that's why I'm doing it. And yeah, so I like to start every video by dedicating it to a family member, friend, loved one. Uh, so this one's dedicated to Sarah. Uh, she knows who she is and she's requested it. So let's get started. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Babyliss Roller Brush. Now this is my second one. I've had it, well I had the first one for about five years. Um, they are really, really good. And the only reason I gave away the last one was because when I lived in Dubai, someone who I was there with said, please let me keep it and you get a new one. So here we are, second one. Um, so yeah, I like to start by spraying my hair. I just use this one first. I um, don't know whether you can see that. Five heat protect spray. So I just spray that all over. And that's literally, I only spray this because I like the smell of it. For no other reason um, and I just feel like when your hair's a bit damper it always works a bit better with the roller so as I do each individual piece then I use this one um, which actually is doesn't smell as nice but yeah um, right so let's get started so um, I start by sectioning the hair off I've completely forgotten what I'm doing because I'm on camera even though I do this weekly. Um, right, what do I do? Focus, focus, focus. So let's take a piece from underneath. So you want to take a piece of hair that's no longer than the width of this, otherwise it's not gonna dry it and it's not gonna blow it. So my hair's slightly damp now and the only thing I've done is kind of thrown my head upside down and just blow dried the roots to really lift the roots just with a normal standard hairdryer. Whenever I sort of wash it, I never really use a hairdryer unless I'm going out and I don't want it to look like absolutely awful. So, uh, so let's get started with this. So I, if I can just show you. And then if you do under, under, under and kind of lift it up like this, so if you can see I'm lifting it, lifting and I mean the controls on here there's only two so you'll know if you're doing it the wrong way because your hair will almost feel like it's back like wrong but I mean the more and more you do it the easier it becomes. You know, some of my friends say I can't do it, I can't do it, I'm like try it ten times and then tell me you can't do it and I'll come and do it. Um, so yeah so I'll just show you a couple of pieces and then stop and have a chat. Turn it on. Let's try to turn it on. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Then what I do is I actually just put a roller in mine just because my hair's naturally quite straight so I know that I have seen other people do this um, on videos and it always just seems to come out in a curl naturally but if your hair's naturally straight like mine it doesn't so I just put a little roller in there and um, so yeah like I said if you just lift it and hold it quite firmly 
and just pull and use the two buttons like I said if it's not so I do the roots first as you can see so I go under 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 with the roots and then do the ends almost and then I mean I've got used to putting my hand on it I mean you will burn yourself if you leave it on there for too long so um what else? Ah, I do have this <laughs> I have this glove which came with um a curler which I was going to use but I decided not to use because I don't use it and I just thought it'll just knock me off almost so you can use this glove these gloves you get them with most curlers I think you can buy them on eBay for like a pound it's just a heat protective glove um, so yeah I'm just gonna do the rest of my hair so like I said do it in sections and I'll come back to you in a sec Useless, useless. I'll just do that piece because I'm doing it next. <clears throat> seen me I roll it all the way up so I let the brush take the hair all the way up and then I sort of leave it for maybe five ten seconds um, it just gets the heat on there and just keeps it more secure now I am sort of securing these in place it's just rough you don't need to know how to do rollers I mean I, w I can do a YouTube video on rollers if that's something that people need but I mean, you just do the hair, roll it up and stick a grip in. It doesn't have to be any way in particular, in my opinion. And as my friends know, I've been putting rollers in my hair for the past 10 years. So I know you see people with them like perfectly. But I mean, as long as there's a curl and it's giving it volume and it's in a roller, I mean, to me, it makes absolutely no difference. Um, so I kind of leave the top section because I do like, in fact, after me just saying that, I do like to do three down the middle just to give it super volume. So I'll leave that till the end and try and get kind of the underneath done first almost. Which section that off? My mum always says, your hair's so thick, just like your father. Anyway, that's another story. And I didn't, did I heat protect those? One, two, three, yeah, I did, I did. Babe? Babe? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. 
I'm just doing my video. Okay. So this section of hair will probably be in four sections. So I'll just spray it all and then section it off and dig in. I would say it probably takes me about 40 minutes when I really, really do it properly, like if I'm going out. So.
gonna do the top bit and the back. So let me just How I'm gonna section that. Oh, my hair is like. Should I just put it to one side? That piece is very thick. But it's hard. We can do this. We can do this. It's good to spray. I need a fan. Let's put 
got some lip gloss on whilst we wait a little bit. Oh, so Okay. Thing. So basically all you have to do is just wait for them to cool down and then as soon as they cool down So normally I would do my makeup after I've done my hair um, But it was just for the purposes of this video and I did not want to come on here Looking horrific with no makeup on. I'm a different person trust me um, So yeah, I will see you in a sec when I can take all this out in a few minutes <laughs> Do you know what? Do you know? Do you know what this reminds me of? There's a doll on. Is it Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? And she's kind of like, is it Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? Please leave in the comments which doll it is that kind of has a hair like this. And it's some sort of Disney movie. Anyway, let's get these out and let's see what they look like. Oh, and sometimes I go out in these and I've been known to go out in them and take them out in the taxi on the way to places before and then I always like wake up the next day with a stinking hover, hangover with a handbag full of rollers. Those people know who they are. It used to be even funnier when I had the fabulous heated rollers because they were heavy. They were real heavy. Wow, there is a lot of volume there. Right, let's see. Mm, maybe. When all this quarantine business is over. Okay. I maybe could have left that one longer. But hey. These could have been left a little bit longer. Okay. So I don't know if you can see that, but I just need to brush it out a tad. To put a bit of oil as well. So I just use the, I don't know if you can see that. it's the, it's Tresemme. I like Tresemme, it's nice affordable and I don't like to put oil before because it feels like I'm cooking my hair like sometimes you get like a burning sort of smell just run it through the ends you shush up the top oh, a little spritz of perfume Everyone is my favourite signature perfume move, but that's for another day. Just using the Bottega Veneta. I don't know what it's called, but it's nice. It's summery. It's quite musky. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe down below. Like me, of course, and I will see you in my next video. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Bye.